Hi everyone, welcome to my new lesson. It will be about nested function with data encapsulation. We will do some screen jobs. Exactly, we don't want to show our calls to everyone exactly, some coder or programmer. So in this case, we need to do something private and we need to get return. I mean, we need to return out these things in privacy, okay? So last lesson was about how to define nested function we did something there, but in this lesson, something will be different. Let me explain you a little bit about that. All right, I'll, I will get my pencil and first we will look for the theoretical part and after that we will do some practice. There are times when you want to prevent the function or the data it has access to from being accessed from other parts of your code. Yeah, it means that exactly. Other parts of your code accessed so you can encapsulate it within another function. So when you nest a function like this, it's hidden from the global scope. That's exactly that. Because of this behavior, data encapsulation is sometimes referred to as data hiding or data privacy. The information coming free, free from free CodeCamp, this is a really amazing website about coding. Uh, you can learn a lot of things there. I just got this information from there to show you exactly in theoretical part. This is good explanation, but this is my special lesson, okay? I will explain everything. So, all right, our topic is data encapsulation, data hiding or data privacy. Let's come down. Let's do it first in here, all right? I will not use some pseudo codes. I will do like the coding, normal scripting part. Um, just try to understand the topic, okay? All right, so we have an information and it is really in deep. We will dive into it, okay? Step by step, how we can do it. We can say function order. We think function name can be order. All right, and we don't need to put any parameters because something will be screwed. And we will come inside it. And by the way, we will go here and we will uh, represent another function. We will define another function and it will be inner one. Is that okay for you? Let's say inner one, this is another function and we don't have any parameters still in here. Because still we are working on private job, okay? And let's go inside it and say function function inner two. Yeah, let's do like that. And come inside it. Still we go we diving into it, right? Still we're doing some special job, some private things. Alright, let's continue. So then we can say function. Let's continue, okay? No worries. We can say function inner tree. What you think? Let's say inner tree. Yeah. And I really borrowed. Let's exactly do what we want to do. Our private information will be exactly in here. So we need to define it right now. Okay, let's say function. How about um if you say inner private mm, no inner private yeah no 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 let's say inner script yeah let's do something like that am i right this is exactly our point this is our Screed information and it will be inside it and we can say um, Place let's say place Our place will be screed. Okay, this is our function parameter so in our screed our function name and parameter will be place because we want to dive into it into functions to exactly make our uh, parameter or our things in here screenly. 
let's come here and we need to return something inside it okay we can do it no worries how we can do it step by step i will show you right now all right so our place is here now we want to return maybe we can say here return return info first return info okay in here so let's say private info private info okay it could be private info okay let's come in here and say return hi and then how about if we add for the inner tree name let's use it okay okay i will use a parameter in here to make it like steal our information in script way but we're just putting there some kind of columns okay all right so we can say hi all right my name is we can say plus but after this one yeah my name is us and we can say name yeah we, we can use it right in here yeah we can because it is love it is looking like global right now we can exactly access it name and after that use it like that and yeah and come down and say <clears throat> I am and I am in the place screen place okay this place will be something else I mean I will show you that in the yeah do it like that and place put our parameter in here place let's do something like that isn't it it will work nice okay nice our script information in here we already put our private info inside inner secret function this is our private function and we have parameter place and the second private information will be name okay this is our another point so we will we need to return now step by step all of them so firstly we can say exactly below of it i will show you it's exactly in here look this one in here so we already represented our own information we and like we already added here right we return it so now we need to return our function exactly in here but which function this one okay with the our text or information let's do it come back to here tag pencil go inside it yeah okay maybe come a little down no worries say return inner read and put something i don't know it could be kitchen yeah do it like <laughs> okay this kitchen <laughs> place will be kitchen that's nice so we already get this one inside function inner tree inner tree now all information all this private information we already added into inner tree we extended there we transfer it there but we have also name in here yeah but we used our name already inside this private info we mixed up all of them the name is here place is here place for our inner script we have this parameter and name this is our inner tree the second private function and parameter exactly in here we can use it in global way right okay now for the another one inner tree what we can use this is architecture of it 
we can add we can return exactly in here let me show you no worries bam in here right yes this is exactly where we need to return come here and say yeah return inner tree and put name what say John. all right close it okay all information will display out like my name is hi my name is john and i'm in the kitchen like that but now we need to transfer this inner tree function information because we already transferred this inner script information into inner tree now we already defined our text for about name now we need to get all this information inside inner two how we can do that the same guys the same things we need to do it we need to transfer all of them until outer like outer function until outer okay let's come here and below come below right in here and say return inner two we don't have any parameter there nothing but exactly our all information from inner tree inner secret and all information now inside inner two okay function so we going amazing now we need to return exactly inner one did you understand what we are doing in here we already understood how things work in data encapsulation system right data privacy it is data privacy exactly nobody can see these things okay inside inner two right so another one will be in this line come down put it here maybe come a little down more all right now we can say in exactly here Maybe here, yeah, return what inner one, right? Inner one, we will exactly return inner one inside. So we will return all information from inner script, inner tree, inner two. All information now will be inside inner one. We can add some parameters there and we can do some specialization for there, but no worries. Okay, we will go step by step exactly with our work. Tag this guy, Python. I will come you too, <laughs> but let's work on first place. Tag it there. Yep. Go back to there. Up, I mean. Yeah, the last point we already returned that too now guys architecture is that our all this information all this information okay all this information exactly inside outer function this one everything now inside outer this one all right we can display out everything with it right now so first we got all information from this one to where to here and we added name and we already got all the information with the first one i mean let me do it again like this together and we got all this information in here and we got also the information from this guys together and we bring it here and we put inside inner one and from inner one to all information we got into outer 
Now we will display out our old screen information. What do you think? Did you understand exactly the point? The thing says going out step by step like that. Did you get it? And now the things will come out. Will fly like that. <laughs> no, will fly. It will come out inside outer. Okay. And lastly, we will say, we will come down and we will say outer. Ah, all information will display out in here. We get all the information step by step with the functions, with the nested functions. We did some data privacy. Am I right? That's the way. All right, guys, let me do some example in a JavaScript. Let's come here. I already represented in here all the information. And uh, we have encapsulation ID in here. I will use JavaScript first. All right, I will be very fast to show you these things, okay? Let's start function first with it. And say outer, this one, it will be our outer. Yeah, it will display everything inside it. And after that, save function inner one. Am I right? So come inside it and save function inner two. Going on. And save function inner three. And what we have here in name, right? Come inside it and save function inner script. That's another way. Am I right? And what we have here, place, this is our script information. Now we can say return like that. Hi, my name is, and put name, this is global right now. We can use this one in, exactly in here. I don't want to put too much parameters inside inner two or inner one, just I want to show you the we diving into functions and explaining things how, how to come out and we can say and i am in the place the place will be exactly screen place we can say place yeah that's all am i right okay so now let's come outside and i told you this is our data Encapsulated point, encapsulated, or, or, private, or hiding. Okay, so now we come out and we need to return inner script first. Am I right? Inner script. Where is our inner script? Already here, right? So, uh, I think the computer is running a little slow because a lot of things work and running at the same time in my computer. Uh, it gives, I think, some error. I'm not sure. All right, maybe I need to wait a little. I'll come back there. To show you exactly what's going on. Oh, yes. Um, man, it's not responding. Real porn, keep waiting. Keep waiting. Okay, everything running good now. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I waited you a little. Okay, now in your screen, I need to return something. What? I want to return inside place. Uh, parameter kitchen let's do kitchen okay this is our first information it will say like and I'm in a kitchen right so we need to return this all information now inside in our tree function right we can say return inner tree and inner tree in inner tree 
we have also name parameter, right? We can add there some name. In this case, let's say I will put my name, but my name is Mohammed, but I can use Sangor. All right. So what we did here, kitchen, all the information now inside inner tree, our all private information, this information's exactly in inner tree. Let's take out from inner tree, return. Now we need to return in inner two, inner two. Yeah, we going on guys. Now our all information from inner tree, inner screen, inner, in inner two, right? go go again so now we need to return inside inner one yeah now everything inside inner one the last point we already bring everything to our main function outer so we can say what var display outer let's say outer then we can say document dot get element by id and what is our id encapsulation right encapsulation or hiding or whatever else in our html after that what we need to put here we need to add exactly our outer function outer right add it like that so, okay maybe so what do you think if i get it here like that put it there and just put our function in, inside it and it will just display out our display outer in the same way okay how we can display things out all right let's use this technique and see if it works are you ready i i, I explained everything about architecture and in a practice way. Are you ready to see it? Hi, my name is Songur and I'm in the kitchen. Did you see our place create information exactly in outer function? And the, my name, this is our second secret parameter inside in second private function. Already there. Did you see? All script things came inside inner tree. All we return it inner tree to inside inner two, and all things returned with inner two to inner one, and all information we return it inside outer, and we get outer in here and displayed out everything works. That's the point. All right, you get it. I don't want to make too much examples. This is exactly the point. I believe you got it, right? So, okay, what, what I would like to do, I, I would like to show you with Python in a very easy way, okay? Like how, how we can do it. Let's do it in in very fast way. So let's say def outer, go inside it, and def inner one, go inside it, def inner two, inside it def inner tree all right come inside it and say def inner screen and put here some information i told you this is place and name will be also in here we can say hmm, we can say return i my my I can do different examples, but it is just I'm comparing with Python and JavaScript. I, I understood you got the logic, right? Hi, my name is, and put it here. We will use the format function, so building function, sorry. And after that, say my name is name, and I am in a kitchen. The same logic. And say format, and put in format first name yeah the second place it works come here and return all things step by step inner screen first tag inside inner tree now say garden no garden sorry say kitchen okay now we need to return it inside inner tree 
So now everything inside inner tree. Now we need to get this information in inner tree. Let's do it inner tree and put name there. I don't know. It can be Eric. <laughs> so now we already pick up all the information inside uh, inner tree. Now we need to get out. Uh, we need to transfer from inner tree to inner two, and we can do it. We can say return below of the inner two, below of the def. This one, all right. The all lines there. We can say inner two. Let's return inner two to inside inner one. Return inner one. Yeah, and let's say outer. Bam. So this is exactly point. What you think if we add something crazy? Let's say, um, what is your name? Let's do something crazy. Do, did you want to do it? Say in here, what I would like to do. Okay, let's exactly do inside here. Okay, I can say query one or name. Let's do it like that with the name. Mm. All right. What we can say? We can ask some question. What do you think? Input. Input is enter. Enter your name. Yeah. Name one. Let's say name one for that and put this name one uh inside here or no no we don't need to do it like that the name one is exactly in here and we can say name one this information and for here we can add please add this information and what you think if we do something like that it works <laughs> let's try it format name after that, that's, that's the way we can get this name information inside here. If it works. Okay, place already there. All right, let's try what, what will happen exactly. What it works, if it works. Uh, if computer, all right. It's not Eric. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, the problem is in here. For here, we added some name, but we need to do inside out, so the out of it. So what we can do for name, we added something, so Eric, like that. But if we do it like that, what will happen? See it. The, exactly, we have here something. And if we get it outside, let's do in scope in here. Yeah, format name, like use like that, but in this case, I would like to do something like that. Yeah, name one, we can use name one exactly in the return point. Did you think we can do it? Like for the name, name point. So we can say return name one, but in this case, our function will be in here. So what we do, like if we do like that, so we can exactly add inside it, all right? So name can be anything else in that point. So let's say name one, return it inside it for it. So let's try it, what will happen? Where is that? Please enter your name. Let's say John. My name is hi. My name is John. I am in the kitchen. So did you did you did, did you see that how it works? This is exactly point, guys. We're working with it. Okay, we can return what we want. This is point. Like let's do it again, and say Eric. Hi, my name is Eric. I'm in the kitchen. We can apply same things for the. Um, place two, we can ask some question about place two, but just I would like to understand. I would like to give you that this main idea. We just returning all the things inside it. We are exactly talking about encapsulation. This is some 
fancy example for you okay this is exactly point what we are doing we got all this information step on step by step outside with it am i right okay take this one and go here for the python we did the same job and now closures okay tag this guys little down okay maybe we can come down to here okay this is not important for now just i would like to show you the logic of it oh my god i don't want to <laughs> i don't want to show you like that but the, another way i can use translator for the bring up the regular way translate it is not unlogical but i'm just putting these things there and it give me it gives me in a good way <laughs> all right just in a second every hurting will finish <laughs> all right come inside that get it I hope you got all this point, okay, about nested function data encapsulation, how we are encapsulating or hiding data. Is it? Yeah. Okay, only that. Hack all the information. Close this page. Come here. I don't want to write all these things again and again. That's what we did example. So, okay, if you want, you can copy or you can stop video and you can get the all information about python nested function data encapsulation everything just same the syntax are a little different just you can get all the information from here just start video and get copy and then you can continue so okay let's go for javascript too but um <laughs> We did some mixed job, but maybe you can get all the information from here for about Python and all the information about JavaScript codes in here. You can just stop video and you can get all the information. You can watch again and again to understand in better way. Yes, it is all guys. This is nested function data encapsulation technique. We are exactly hiding data or making privacy data in here to max create in the function that's all guys so thank you very much for your watch uh, as soon as possible i will share another video it will be about um, nested function with closure uh, closure will be a little different technique but it will help you also for your programs um, thank you very much uh, I hope you get it all the point and you understand I really try to explain to you in good way see you soon in another lesson this is special lessons watch it share with your friends if you have any question feel free to ask in comments